All right, Penn State, you pulled out the victory against Indiana, but we got to talk about Drew Aller's development, and I'm going to help right after the stinger. It's Felix Sharp at Sharp Review on Twitter for CampusToCan.com. If you like this video, actually, go ahead and like this video. I want to get this video to 100 likes. That would be the best we've ever done on a video. Let's see if we can get it to 100 likes. I know that we're going to have more than 100 people watch this video, so that should be an easy goal. Uh, subscribe to the channel also. And if you don't know what it is that we're doing at campusdecan.com, you really, really need to check us out. We're playing fantasy football essentially with your favorite college players. You have a college team and an NFL team, and you're trying to win the championship on both sides of the league. And then when your players declare for the NFL draft, they're added to your NFL roster. So, you know, we've got rankings. We've got freshman-only rankings. We've got updated Depth charts for 133 FBS teams. That's offense and defense. And if you want to check it out, go ahead and check out the athleticism comparison tool where you compare, you know, your favorite freshman or sophomore or whomever uh, to some of the best in the league and just see, or in the game, I should say, and just see kind of where they compare uh, athletically. All right, so Penn State, you guys pull out the victory yesterday against Indiana. And of course, Penn State has struggled offensively, including with this Indiana team, which you have way too much talent to really let them be competitive. That game was much tighter than it should have been. Um, Nick Singleton doesn't have a 100-yard game on the season. As a team yesterday, they ran for 132 yards, averaging just 3.1 yards per carry. Now, we saw the long touchdown to seal the game to Keandre Lambert-Smith at the end. We saw him perform and have some big plays earlier in the season. But when I look at this Penn State team, you got to get it corrected outside. Penn State doesn't really have a dude there. After they've had some dudes there in the season's past with Jahan Dotson and Parker Washington there, uh, both really good wide receivers. But look at what this Penn State team is doing in the form of big plays. Penn State is 87th in the country of plays of 10 yards or more. Just for some perspective, Illinois has more plays of 10 yards or more. Wisconsin, they've only got five or six passing touchdowns on the season. They have more plays of 10 yards or more. If you go to plays of 20 yards or more, I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you there. It gets even worse. They are 128th in plays of 20 yards or more. Quite frankly, I think that this is a team that needs, going into next season, they need a transfer wide receiver. They need an alpha. They need a dude on the outside. We saw them do this uh, last year with Mitchell Tinsley getting him from, uh, from Western Kentucky, but they're going to need to step up their wide receiver production. And I'm talking about, you look at what Alabama did with uh, Jamison Williams, what USC did with Jordan Addison, what Florida State has done with Keon Coleman. I mean, there are big names that enter the transfer portal and Penn State needs one of these guys. Because I think that you, of course you want to be the best team that you can be. But developing the quarterback position can have greater implications, greater implications for wins. It can snowball into recruiting, et cetera. It can make your skill positions better. And then, you know, you have all of this talent going to one place. Penn State is, they're a team that can compete with Michigan and Ohio State in the Big Ten. And quite frankly, I think that Drew Aller is probably the most athletically gifted quarterback in the conference. So you want to see him reach his ceiling. You want to see him play well in college, you want to see him be a top five overall pick, which I think after next season, he actually has the talent to do, but he need, he needs some help on the outside. You don't want this to turn into another Christian Hackenberg situation. You don't want a prospective quarterback recruit to be considering um, Penn State and saying, well, mm, it didn't work out for Christian Hackenberg. It didn't work out for Drew Aller. How's it going to work out for me. So I think that Drew Aller's development uh, is of the utmost important importance. When I Oh, by the way, it's not going to be a freshman next season because I looked at you guys recruiting list and the highest rated wide receiver recruit is three-star jo- uh, Josiah Brown from New York. It's going to be a transfer and I've got some guys, I've got some guys that I think could potentially be candidates to help Drew Aller reach his ceiling. 
Let's look at that Ohio State wide receiver room. Noah Rogers, Keon Graves from uh, class two years ago. Those guys are going to have hard times getting on the field this year where you got Brandon Ennis, you got Carnell Tate. There's not a lot of spots there, uh, even in 11 personnel for, for some of these freshmen there at Ohio State. Could you steal someone from that room? Um, what about if you want an alpha or a potential alpha, I really love, and we at Campus to Canton really love, uh, the sophomore wide receiver Chris Bell at Louisville. Uh, Jamari Thrash is going to be gone. They still have Keon Coleman, but Chris Bell, six foot two, six foot three, two hundred twenty-five pounds, gave in high school gave um, uh, gave Travis Hunter the business. I mean, that's kind of why we gravitated towards him because he performed really, really well against one of the top uh, prospects in the country, and Travis Hunter. And you saw how he played against UCLA with those two interceptions. Chris Bell at Louisville. Could you lure? He's a potential alpha. Can you lure him into the transfer portal? Monterey Baldwin at Baylor, might be the fastest player in the country. He can run after the catch. If you hit him in stride, he can also take the top off the defense. He's a candidate, but I tell you who my favorite candidate is. My favorite candidate, he will be a fifth-year player next year, and that's Cullen Lacey from South Alabama, who's, what, second in the country in receiving. I Plays a little bit of slot, can beat you deep in, from the slot. He's He is balling uh, this year. He is balling. He, uh, he only has one game with less than 100 yards receiving uh, 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 this season. So he's a candidate. They got to do something. I don't know what it's going to be. But if you want Drew Aller to reach a ceiling, and you absolutely do, you're going to have to bring in some talent. Let me know in the comments what you, what you think. Are you satisfied with what Penn State is doing? Or, or do they need to bring in a transfer? And who would that be? Who do you think it should be? Let me know in the comments. And let's see if we can get that record, get to 100 likes. Peace, everybody.